Let's think about whether each of these expressions produce rational or irrational numbers. And just as a reminder, a rational number is one. So if you have a rational number x, it can be, it can be expressed as the ratio of two integers, m and n. And if you have an irrational number, this cannot, this cannot happen. So let's, let's think about each of these. So nine is clearly a rational number. You can express nine as nine over one, or 18 over two, or 27 over three. So it can clearly be expressed as the ratio of two integers. But what about the square root of 45? So let's think about that a little bit. Square root of 45, that's the same thing as the square root of nine times five, which is the same thing as the square root of nine times the square root of five. The principal root of nine is three. So it's three times the square root of five. So this is going to be nine plus three times the square root of five. So square root of five is irrational. You're taking the square root of a non-perfect square right over here, irrational. Three is rational, but the product of a rational and an irrational is still going to be irrational, so that's going to be irrational. And then you're taking an irrational number and you're adding nine to it. You're adding a rational number to it, but you add a rational to an irrational, and you're still going to have an irrational. So this whole thing, this whole thing is irrational, irrational. Now let's think about, now let's think about this, this expression right over here. Well, the numerator can be rewritten as the square root of nine times five over three times the square root of five. Well, that's the same thing as the square root of nine times the square root of five over three times the square root of five. Well, that's the same thing as three times the square root of five over three times the square root of five. Well, that's just going to be equal to one, or you could view it as one over one. And one is clearly a rational number. You could write it as one over one, two over two, three over three, really any integer over itself. So this is going to be rational. Now let's do this last expression right over here. Three times the principal root of nine. Well, what's the principal root of nine? Well, it's three, so this is going to be three times three, which is equal to nine. And we've already talked about the fact that nine can clearly be expressed as the ratio of two integers. Nine over one, 27 over three, 45 over five, all different forms of, or different ways of expressing nine.